Hi, this is HJ Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about five interesting facts about Nerf. Uh, just to let you know, this isn't a top five list, but just five interesting facts about Nerf. Although Nerf is usually known for producing toy dart blasters, its first product was a ball. Yes, the Nerf ball, also referred as the world's first indoor ball. It was developed by Twister inventor Rain Geyer, then released in 1969 by the Parker Brothers before Hasbro owned Nerf. After a year, over 4 million Nerf balls had been sold. Fun fact, one of the first Nerf TV commercials featured the 60s music group The Monkees. Ever wondered where the word Nerf came from? Well, according to most sources, Nerf stands for non-expanding recreational foam. Another source states that drag racing in the 1960s would have trucks with foam-covered bars, sometimes known as Nerf bars, to push the racers to the starting line without damaging their cars. So that's where Nerf could have come from too. But, you know, to be honest with you, I prefer believing that Nerf just stands for non-expanding recreational foam. So if we know what the first Nerf product is, then what is the first Nerf blaster ever created? Well, 19 years after the Nerf ball, Nerf created the Blaster Ball in 1989. The Nerf Blaster Ball came packaged with two blasters and four ballistic balls. It was loaded by simply inserting a ballistic ball into the front barrel of the blaster, then extending the handle as far as possible and quickly push it back to launch the foam ball. And what I really love about this blaster is that the sound it makes is just Surprise. really cool. I just, I'd, I'd buy the blaster just to get that sound. It's just amazing. This game is a blast. On March 2012, Pocket, who is the creator of the Australian-based fan blog Urban Taggers, received an email from a Hasbro product manager asking if he wanted Nerf Elite pinpoint sites to give away to his fans. Pocket was happy to receive the freebies and gave his postal address, but the pinpoint sites did not arrive, but a threatening letter was given to Pocket demanding he remove the commercially sensitive information and copyright protected images about its unreleased N-Strike Elite Rampage Blaster. Hasbro even went as far to send two lawyers who made a visit to his apartment. Fortunately, Pocket was never sued, but he was more cautious in his postings. Unfortunately, he finished his blog on July 2013. There are a few blasters out there that have never been released or have had changes. The Nerf Vortex Nitron was originally going to come with a shield instead of a pinpoint sight. There was going to be a whiteout version of the Spectre Rev 5, but it never happened. Early pictures of the Rampage showed that it also came with a shield and with a retaliator stock. In some shots of the Rampage teaser video, if you remember that, the Rampage can actually be seen with a Lightning Storm stock. Weird. And Stampede was originally going to come with a 50 dart drum, but was then replaced by an 18 and 6 dart clips. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. I'd also like to apologise for the lack of uploads lately. Um, I just haven't gotten my hands on any new Nerf blasters or gotten any new Nerf news, so um, yeah, I do apologise for that.